Greetings, greetings, greetings. Hello Monday, hello everybody. Today was an absolutely good day, weather-wise, so I took advantage of it and I went to the beach. So I'm now here, literally had to rush. Um, but yes, I am here and we are going to get our conversation started. No, we, we were not here. <coughs> hi, 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 hi. Yeah, so go ahead, like, share, invite somebody else to join our conversation this evening. my phone at tonight. We will start in a minute. But like, share, invite. Wow. Come on, phone. It all powering your hands you have given me. Wow, come on, phone. That's right, I see you shared it. Drew, Drew, hi. Jamal, hi, Dre, everybody, everybody. So, Douglas, this is not. <laughs> as soon as I'm done, you can come on. Douglas, I mean, you can start your life, so I'll be ready. Sharon, hi, 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 everybody. There's an absolute reason why I'm wearing this hat because I needed to go to the barber shop and I didn't. But let's get our conversation started. Um, I think there's a hashtag that says stay in motion. Uh, <clears throat> but tonight I wanted us to, our conversation to be around the fact that nothing is up with the beard. I'm going back to what it used to be a little not so distant past in the past and so yeah who knows what's gonna happen next uh, so speed is not as important as momentum uh, sometimes in our lives we get caught up with how fast we're going because we're in the habit of uh, comparing our lives and our process and our time and our season with somebody else with uh, without even considering the fact that yeah I am me I'm an individual and that person that person's life and that person's journey is specific to them and so we are in the habit oftentimes of getting caught up with what everybody else is doing how fast they seem to be moving and we judge ourselves uh, based on what's happening around us hi Kendall but I wanted us or our conversation tonight to be around that for a little bit uh, really to emphasize that speed is not as important as uh, uh, momentum in the sense that we could be going we could be going uh, at a very fast rate but we could be going in the wrong direction we could be going um, you know moving like people may think we should be moving but we are moving uh, not in sync with our own life's journey our own life's, life's season or time and our purpose and so it is important that we not only understand that we are moving in the right direction but that we are maintaining that we are maintaining um, we are maintaining oh my god I'm trying to do several things that we are maintaining our momentum alright Kendall so that's it so speed is not as important as momentum because we don't want to be living our lives 
at a fast pace but going in the wrong direction we want to ensure that you know when we are moving <coughs> when we are going forward that we are going in the right direction i feel like i've said that a hundred times so we could be heading in the wrong direction and uh, we could be heading at a fast pace but going nowhere or going in the wrong direction or we can be going so fast that we rob ourselves of learning while we are in process we could be going so fast that we don't take the time to learn the lessons or, or, or pay attention to the signs that are uh, along our journey you know sometimes when you're driving you if you don't yield if you don't see the stop sign or you don't yield to a caution uh, you could possibly run into uh, into an accident because we were not paying attention to the signs that are strategically set up along our path along our path to to help guide us to our destination and so that's important that we uh, understand that that we are not just moving uh, but that we're moving in the right direction and that we are maintaining while we are moving while we are in process and so <clears throat> And while we are in process, those signs, those like you, like a driver, like a driver would understand it's important to pay attention to the signs, to pay attention to um, traffic that's coming in, in your direction or may not, or you may not even expect to be coming in, in your direction. But you've got to always be conscious that not every, everybody else on the road or not everybody else uh, on their journey is paying attention to to their journey and so if we are not paying attention to to our own journey to our own process to our own stop signs and caution signs that are established along our path then we run the risk of running in the wrong direction of running into an accident that could be um dangerous or deadly and so it is better to be slow and steady and moving in the right direction than to be speeding but heading in the wrong direction or heading nowhere or going nowhere. Um, let me just say that again. It is important and that we understand that it is better to be slow and steady and moving in the right direction uh, than to be going speed or to be speeding but going nowhere or going in the opposite direction to our purpose and our destiny. Uh, we could be running against purpose. We could be running against um our own time and our own seasons and so i wanted us to to our conversation tonight to be along these lines stay in motion and to remember that speed is more uh, not speed <laughs> momentum is more important than speed and so what we are to do while we are in process while we are on this journey is that we um or, or in the journey of staying in motion is that we are to start where we're at and this is something that Arthur Ashe said we have to start where we're at and so wherever we find ourselves wherever we find ourselves in our life in our personal journey in our personal uh, developmental process we are to start where we're at stop waiting for something to happen before we make a decision to to um, start doing what we love to do or to start uh, going in direction hi Chelsea and Roger and Adair and everybody else. Um, so we have to start where we're at. That's the first thing. Stop waiting for something to happen. Stop waiting for some uh, miracle to happen before you make a decision. Yeah, this thing keeps tripping up. So let me do that over because I think something went wrong with our video just now. Uh, staying in motion, we are to start where we're at. Start where you're at. Use what you have and do what you can. Somebody sent me a message um, about staying focused. I'm literally, why am I sweating like this? I don't know. I think I should not have washed my face, but yeah. So understand, we have to understand that we already have everything we need to start. Or past experiences, the lessons we've learned, um, where we've come from, all that we have already endured was building us for where we're at right now and it will and it has empowered us for the next place that we are going to and it's not even just about going to a physical place it's about uh, a mental thing it's about how we prepare ourselves for the next season of our lives or the next 
place that will be the next um, opportunity that pops up um, before us. So <laughs> we are to understand that our life's experiences that have brought us to this place are what we needed to get to this place whether they're good or bad they're what we needed to get to this place and there's a part even though we may not understand fully how it is working for us whether they're good or bad positive or negative they are working for us or somebody just called me and just interrupted the entire video the forces are working against me tonight yeah. so i was saying um all our experiences that we've had prior, all the, the difficulties that we've had, all the challenges that life would have brought us, uh, was necessary to prepare us to come to this place, to this place that we're at. And so we had to understand and embrace the fact that in our affirmations or in affirming ourselves that we already have everything we need to start. It may not be all that we need to finish, hi Melissa, it may not be all that we need to finish but we definitely, based on our own experiences, based on what we would have come through, based on what we have survived already, we already have everything that we need to start. And so while we, we are to start where you're at, start where you're at, use what you have and do what you can. What you can't do, then somebody else is going to come along in your journey because we understand that none of our journeys are uh, going to be able to be accomplished independent of other people independent of help and so the help that we need is is going to come along but it is important that we start where we're at use what we have and do what we can and then allow the other things the other aspects of what we need to fall into place and you do not need uh, we we do not need to wait for a better moment to get us going or you do not need to wait for a better moment to get you going you create the moment that you need right now where you're at create that moment by making a decision to move and to start and to use what you have and to do what you can um so stop waiting for for a better moment to get you going just make a decision that i am where i am right now and it may not be where i want to be but i am decided that i'm not going to stay in this place whatever that place is for you whatever place of limitation whatever place of restriction or confinement or or whatever form of bondage or whatever it is um it is important that we understand and embrace the fact that we we do not need to wait for a, a better moment to get us going we are to start where we are at hi vanessa joel Rhonda. Next, uh, your best moment is now. We must understand and embrace that in our affirmations of ourselves, in, in embracing who we are, um, that our best moment is now. Your best moment is now. You don't need to be approved uh, by anybody. You don't need to be validated by anybody. You don't need anybody to, to okay your journey. You don't need anybody to, to okay your purpose or your destiny. Um, you don't need anybody to say that this is the right time for you. Now, there's a place for, for good counsel, and that's absolutely necessary. But um, oftentimes, we, we, we stay stuck in a rut because we're waiting for somebody else to validate us. We need, we're waiting for somebody else to, to tell us that this is the time. While that other person or those other people are moving ahead in their lives, we're waiting for somebody to come and agree with us when um, that may not necessarily happen because not everybody will agree with what you are doing. Not everybody will agree with your purpose or your journey. And so we've got to stop waiting for that moment or we've got to stop waiting for somebody else to come and to step into our, our space to validate us or to validate the season of our lives that we're in or, or, or the place, the structure that we are under. And so it's important that we understand that, that your best moment is now. Your best moment is now. My best moment is now. Uh, regardless of what's happening around us, regardless of, 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 of the troubles and the situations that you may be surrounded by, you must understand or we must embrace the fact that our best moment is now. 
And so while we understand these things, while we start where we're at, while we use what we have, while we do what we can do, we must also understand that because we're so focused on, on the direction in which our lives are going, in the direction in which our journey is taking us, we do not have time to stop to judge anybody else's journey. You do not have time to judge anybody else's process. Um, it is people who don't have enough going on with their lives. It's people who don't have enough vision for their own lives or, or, or they've got too much free time on their hands that they're caught up, they get caught up in uh, trying to assess everybody else's life and assess everybody else's journey and to judge everybody else's journey. But a person who is in motion, a person who is working towards maintaining the momentum of their life and their season will not have the time to stop to judge what person A is doing and person B is doing and try to dictate what uh, everybody else around them is doing because uh, if if they were so, or if we become so focused on our own journey, if we become so focused on our own process and our own progress, if we are working towards our own lives, staying in momentum or staying in motion, then we'll see every opportunity that we take to judge somebody else's journey, every uh, every minute that we take out of our own process, out of our own time to assess what everybody else around us is doing becomes a distraction for from our own journeys, from our own lives, from our own um, road or whatever we want to call it that's set before us for us to live. And so the, the less time we take or we spend judging other people's journey or being concerned with what everybody else is doing, uh, the more we're able to focus or or on our own journey, the more we're able to focus on maintaining the momentum of our lives because we don't want to be going a uh, hundred miles per hour today and because something because we choose to allow what's going on with person a and person b and person c to distract us then our own process and our own journey uh begins to lose momentum and when we were when we would have been able to maintain a hundred miles per hour we're now cruising at 60 we are now um just losing speed we're now losing our own momentum and, and that becomes detrimental to us because we're giving our time we're giving our energy we're giving our resources to other people's journey as against focusing that resource and that time and that energy on our own journey and so be careful of people who are who have time to stop and judge everybody else it means that their own progress it means that their own journey it means that their own momentum is ceased because they no longer are focusing on what they should be doing or how they need to be working to make maintain their own momentum or their and stay on course to their own journey um and they're going nowhere or they're they're really at a standstill we are to understand that there are no shortcuts to any place worth going when we want to stay in motion or to stay in motion we must understand that there are no shortcuts to any place that's worth going and so if we set our minds on going to whatever destination we choose whatever destination we uh aspire to reach to we must understand that there are no shortcuts it's going to be difficult at times it's going to be challenging oftentimes it may be alone many times you may feel neglected many times you may feel as though you're the only one doing it many times and that's okay because your journey and your process is specific to you and so understand and embrace the fact that um any place that's worth any place that's worth going, um, it may not come with a shortcut. It may not come with a manual that says turn left here or turn right there and then t make a U-turn. And so we've got to trust the process and understand that that is important to us. So one other thing I want to say is this. Newton in uh the in the law of motion says an object at rest an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on and so if all lives are at a, at a standstill if our lives are not going anywhere, there's no progress, we're just stuck in a rut, sometimes it's an indication that we have allowed ourselves to settle, we've allowed ourselves to become 
too comfortable at that place. And so we're not doing things to challenge us. And so I challenge us in our conversation uh, tonight and, and this week that we, in our own assessment of ourselves, that we figure out, am I in motion? Am I at rest? If I'm in motion, am I maintaining a momentum or am I being distracted by what everybody else is doing or what am I being distracted by? And the, 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 the things that are happening around me. And so an object in motion will stay in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced unbalance force. And so once we make a decision that regardless of what happens, I'm going to stay in motion, I'm going to stay in my lane, I'm not going to, to allow what's happening around me, what this person is doing, what the other person is doing to distract me. I'm not going to allow my energy and my time uh, to be wasted feeding into what everybody else is doing. And so my focus is that I would remain in motion and I will maintain the momentum of my life. I will maintain the pace at which my life is going, the direction in which my life is going, uh, so that, <sighs> why, why would you be calling me now, Ugh. let me wrap this up so I could take all the calls that are coming to my phone right now, that's a distraction, <laughs> right now that's like a major distraction, and so, <laughs> we are to um to do that and to stay in in motion and so let me just wrap this up and say this um we're to check it check ourselves i'm gonna just wait here for that phone to ring one more time because that is crazy absolutely crazy so we have to check our check ourselves um where am i now where am i heading is the direction in which we are heading leading us to purpose or is it just leading us to a popular place? Where am I now? Where am I heading? Is the direction that we're headed in leading us to purpose or is it just leading us to a popular place? And so let me wrap up before the phone comes on again and I am kicked off. Stay in motion because Momentum is is not as important as speed. Start where you're at, use what you have, and do what you can. And your affirmation for this week, or or affirmation for this week, or the next until the next time we do another uh, um, affirmation live, is to understand and embrace the fact that. You already have everything you need to start. You already have everything you need to start. You do not need to wait for a better moment to get it to get going, to get it started. You are living in your best moment right now. Regardless of what is happening around you, this is your best moment. Stop waiting for people to tell you that. Stop waiting for somebody else to, to say it to you. You affirm yourselves, you speak to yourselves, you motivate yourself so that you can move in the direction that you need to go to ensure that your best life is, um, is embraced, is enjoyed, and understand that there are no shortcuts to any place that's worth going. So, good night before the phone rings again and I get cut off. And so, yeah, have a good night, everybody.